Hi everyone, we're back again. Welcome to our Basic Bisaya channel. In today's lesson, we would learn the basic parts of the face and the body in Bisaya language. Are you ready? So let's jump straight in and start learning right now. Hi guys, my name's Gary. My name is Riancy. And we're going to start off by learning the parts of the face. Our model today is called Petra. Right. First of all, we need to know what the general word for the full head is. So how do we say head in Visaya? It's ulo. Ulo. Yes. So ulo is the full head. And then we have a word which just means the face. It's called nawong. The whole face is called nawong in Visaya. Nawong. So the word for hair is buhok. Buhok. Buhok is the word for hair in Visaya. And then we need the word for forehead. Agtang. Forehead is agtang. Agtang. Next we have eyebrow. Kilai. Kilai. Eyebrow is kilai. And then we have eyelash. Piluk. Piluk. Eyelash is piluk. Uh, the eye. Mata. Mata. Eye, mata. Moving down slightly, we're going to the nose. Ilong. Ilong. Nose is ilong. Ear. Dalungan. Dalungan. Ear is dalungan. Next we have cheek. Upping. Upping. Cheek is upping. Next we have mouth. Baba. Baba. Mouth is baba. And then lips. Ngabil. Ngabil. Lip is ngabil. And then the word for tooth. Nipon. Nipon. Tooth is nipon. So next we move on to the word tongue. And what is the word in Bisaya for tongue? It's dila. Dila. Tongue is dila. And then we have the word for neck. Which is? Liog. Liog. Neck. Liog. And before we move on, we're going to introduce another special guest called Pedro. And Pedro's face contains a beard and moustache. So we need to know what the word in Pisaya for beard and moustache is. It's called bungot, or you can call it balbas. So we have bungot or balbas. That's for beard and moustache. Bungot, balbas. So that covers the parts of the face. Now let's move on to the parts of the body. So our next model, we're going to call her Indai. So she's going to be our model for showing you the parts of the body in Bisaya. So let's start from top to bottom. And we'll start with Indai's shoulder. So how do we say that in Bisaya? Shoulder is called Abaga. Abaga. Shoulder is Abaga. Then we have the word for arm, which is? Bukton. Bukton. So Indai's arm is called Bukton. And then we move down to her hand, which is? Kamut. Kamut. Word for hand is kamut. And then fingers? Kuyamoi. Kuyamoi. Fingers is kuyamoi. And then the fingernails? Kuku. Kuku. So the nails are kuku. Uh, we also have the elbow. Siko. Elbow is siko. Next, we have the word for armpit, which is? Ilok. Ilok. 
Next, we have the word for leg, which is? Bati is. Bati is. The word for leg is bati is. And we can break that down slightly and then go to thigh. Pa'a. The word for thigh is pa'a. And then we have the word for foot, which is? Ti il. The word for foot is ti il. Yes, ti il. Ti il. For educational purposes, we're going to teach you the female private part as well. So the first one is the word for breasts, which is? Tutoi. Tutoi. Breasts is tutoi. We're going to also teach you the words for the vagina. In Visaya, there are actually four. So let's start with them right now. My first is bilat. Second, buto. Third, bisong. Fourth, pipi. So now our model has politely turned round so we can teach you a couple of words for the back part of the body. So we have first the word for the back, which is? Likud. Likud. The word for the back is likud. And then we have the word for the butt. But we call it in Bisaya lubut. 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 So that's quite easy to remember because it's very similar to the UK. But. So our next model is called Dudum. And we're going to discuss another three body parts that we haven't mentioned already yet. So let's get started with the chest, which can be used for both male and female. Chest is called Dughan. Dughan. It's Dughan in Visaya. Chest, Dughan. The next body part is the nipple. In Visaya, it's called Atngal. Now, Gary finds it very hard to pronounce Atngal, but you can repeat after me. Atngal. Gary? Perfect. My attempt is Atngal. 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 So he needs to practice more about that Atngal. Okay. It's quite a difficult sound pr to pronounce. And then the last one we have is the male uh, body part, which is the penis. So how do we say that one in Bisaya? Utin. Utin. Or Tintin. Utin or Tintin. That's the male penis. So that's the end of our basic Bisaya lesson today. For the parts of the face and the body, please leave comments and suggestions below for any body parts that we've missed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content as it means everything to us. And lastly guys, the most important thing, have a great day. That's goodbye from us. Bye! Bye.